Call of Duty announced that with the release of Vanguard, there will also be a new slash updated anti-cheat coming too. But that's in November, which can feel a long way off if you're being bopped by hackers and cheaters on Warzone right now. That's why this video covers all the best ways to avoid hackers and cheaters on Warzone. So the first method to avoid the plague on Warzone is to report and block each hacker that you do come across. I know this isn't super practical and can be annoying, but it helps a little bit, particularly when used in conjunction with other techniques. Ideally, the reporting will mean that they get banned, but in the meantime you can't be matched with them when you block them, or you'll get a message saying someone you blocked is in the lobby and you can just back out. To do this, you can either report the hacker when spectating them, or by remembering their name and going over to your social tab and then across to recent lobby, find them there and you can report and block the player. The second technique is to simply turn crossplay off, which sadly is only applicable to PlayStation players currently. If you're fortunate enough to be playing on PlayStation with other PlayStation players, this can be a great way to avoid the hackers that are primarily on PC. In addition, you won't be playing players that have field of view advantages over you as well. So to do this, go on to settings, over to account, and you can just toggle crossplay to off. You might get a notification as you're entering games telling you that you have turned crossplay off and whether you want to turn it back on, but just say no and the game loads fine. Okay, lastly, one of the best ways to avoid hackers is to see who's in your lobby before you actually enter the match with some live data. To do this, you need a Warzone tracker that can produce live information. By loading up the latest data on everyone in the lobby, you can assess any suspicious looking kill to death ratios and ranks. So if you see a 10kd from a level 13, or a team of 20kds or something, you can just head out of there before you even fully load into the game. This can save you so much wasted time and rage. Some people do use these live trackers to ensure that they get the easiest lobbies possible. They just keep leaving until they see an easy lobby. I actually highly advise not doing this. If you do want to get better, how can you really do that if you're never playing better players? The problem with these Warzone live trackers is Activision intermittently makes it difficult for Warzone tracker websites to attain data from other players and then display them in real time so occasionally they won't be able to show live information. However, these issues are usually resolved fairly quickly, as is the case with the Overwolf Warzone Tracker, which is now back up and available to use after a period of being down, and is probably currently the most popular Warzone Tracker out there, although there are others too. To download the Overwolf Tracker and see who's in your Warzone lobby, head over to their website, overwolf.com, and click on Warzone Tracker. Oh, by the way, you can only currently do this on PC with this tracker. I'm not sure about others unfortunately. Once you have downloaded this tracker though, link your Warzone account, load up the tracker and hit Alt and L when you're actually in a lobby and that will bring up live player info. And then from there you can make your decision on whether you want to stay or not. So they're all the current best techniques to avoid hackers in Warzone. Xbox players currently have the worst defenses sadly, but hopefully these methods can shield you at least a little bit for now until the new anti-cheat arrives. If you did find the video helpful please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more Warzone videos, shorts and streams. Bye for now.